All right, guys, we're back for another Dilcom battle video. Uh, pretty insane day. So, uh, I did the breakdown for LRB Gohan, and I was just, I was soaking, I was soaking wet. Uh, Beast Gohan is so completely up my alley for what makes like a great character, and they did it on, you know, again the biggest like L on Dokkan's back ever, which they ripped off. And then it's Beast Gohan turn one. There's no nonsense. And then he's just slot one, and he buffs every. Think of a character that's good. Beast Gohan buffs him. Broly, Gogeta, uh, Gohan and Piccolo. I, like you go to, uh, down the line. Any any character like Beast it just sits in slot one and tanks for them or draws hits away from them. Right? Like Beast Gohan actually just buffs every single character. So uh, we're we're looking good. Now, there is a second LR right here who seem pretty damn good as well. Um, so this is Carnival LR Gamma 1 and 2. Uh, this seems to be a, well, maybe complex character. Um, they are supporting. They obviously do have a big standby. Uh, basically 20, 20, like 15, essentially, uh, for stats right there. So we're looking good. Okay. Uh, they are int, int type. Okay. Okay. So, let's just go in. Uh, we also will look at the banner unit here. Um, the banner unit details, we'll look at what, what we got from the Dokkan Wiki. Um, might be potentially a little bit off, but no biggie. We'll be able to get the, the gist of things. Um, all right, so Gamma 1 and 2. Again, we're we're going to be in for a little while here. So, okay. Um, wait, let me just quickly refresh. Like, like this is this is the whole thing. Yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, so Gamma 1 and 2. They lead superheroes. I don't like this, by the way. Just immediately... Not really a fan. Um, we already have uh, several capable superhero leaders. Um, remember that Carnival LR Blue Gogeta does lead um, movie heroes. So, I mean, that's good that he's not leading superheroes. Uh, it's not like the Gammas have the most ever possibilities. I mean... Oh, wait. Shit. Oh, my God. Dude, wait. What? Android movie hero join forces... Uh, I, I, th I think this is just a minor type of superhero, right? So it's like Android, movie hero, join forces, superhero, artificial life form, worthy rival, special pose, defender of justice, accelerate a battle. And then because of like the standby, they're on entrusted will, all out struggle, connected hope, final trim card, full power, battle fate. Jesus, dude. <laughs> they're on Broly's team too. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wow. Uh, they just get the full, th like, all of this. Okay. Uh, I mean, I would much rather... Dude, do you know how interesting it would be if, like, the Gammas led, like, accelerate a battle? Like, I, I, I am bummed by the leader skill. I, I just... I, and especially Beast is undisputed number one. He leads superhero. Like, why... I don't know why they did that. I like, like, especially with the categories they're on, man. Like, they... Ex to, accelerate battle 200%. Dude, like, that would have been a sick team. All right. um, 12 key super attack, 30% uh, attack and events, colossal damage. 18 key super attack, 50% attack and events, mega colossal damage. Pretty basic, but solid. Uh, passive, so they get 3 key, 125% attack and defense. Let me actually just zoom in one more tick here. Uh, 3 key, 125% attack and defense. Okay. They get another 3 key. 125% attack and events when HP is 30% or higher. I don't really know why that needs to be gated. Remember, Beast is just a 250% start a turn for free, right? Um, okay, so, but, I mean, that's giving them, the, the two together is 6 key and 250% of stats. Obviously pretty crazy. Then they give Superhero Join Forces and Defender of Justice 3 key 50% attack and defense. That's just nuts. Um, join forces, that's nice, right? Like, we potentially, they could help join forces. Superhero, like, I, that's a pretty substantial buff. You know, for the Beast Gohan to be doing a lot of extra damage for Carnival Gogeta and stuff like that. Like, that's, that's a pretty significant support buff. Um, then chance to perform a crit, 30%, and guaranteed additional super, up to two per turn, Per int key sphere obtained. Chance to perform a crit 12% and perform additional is a 70% chance to be a super of the two per turn per EGL or STR key sphere obtained. So the gammas. See, see, that is an interesting ability, but 
you, without them creating orbs, that's not... If we're running them on superhero, remember that Beast Gohan does literally everything in the game. I mean, he's giving key, huge key support, right? So, like, Gohan's not going to need key, presumably. You might be able to kind of, like, maneuver orbs, like, with, like, the Gamma's restriction in mind. But, like, I, like them, like, like dealing with this orb stuff it is <laughs> it's something that could come up. Um, uh, I mean, we would have Carnival Blue Gogeta on the team for sure. He would be a rainbow orb changer. Uh, I, let me pull up superhero real fast. All right, so we're looking at the superhero roster. We do have them, them on the team as well. Dude, this team is so stupid. Oh, my God. So far and away the best team in the game. It's ridiculous. Um, they're rainbow orb changing. They want orbs. So, like, with them on the team and Gogeta on the team and the Beast Gohans, again, presumably double Beast Gohan or something like that, at key and stuff like that should be very easy to maneuver. I, I don't anticipate any difficulties for key with, like, anybody pretty much. I mean, certainly you could get really bad luck. But I think at least on the superhero team, you probably will be able to maneuver around this. Um, the Gammas, of course, I mean, remember, these are guaranteed supers, by the way. That's big. None of this 70% bullshit. I mean, you know, with AGLR, CR key spheres, you got to deal with that. But if you can get the int key spheres, two int key spheres, I mean, that's not that tough, right? Like, that's not hard to do. So, okay. Um, so, yeah, they get that. They get that. And then they get an additional 50% attack and events. And 30% damage reduction starting from the turn in which they do three attacks. Starting from the turn, they do three attacks. So, if they open up a three attacks, they're just going to have the damage reduction right away. Huh. Yeah, I mean, they seem pretty effective. I mean, this is a classic full dodge build character um you know with the support and stuff like that they look solid though um i mean we'll, we'll see how it's gonna work with some of these orbs and stuff like that here um again on superhero i i can't imagine we would have a problem and we would be wanting to run them on superhero with that big support also by the way keep in mind superhero is a week away from ui goku and evolution blue vegeta getting easy A's. I, I mean i'm just gonna tell y'all i expect them to be better than this character as insane as that sounds. Because these guys are anniversary characters. Uh, Vegito and Gogeta are still good. Right? Like, you know, they don't work well against a AoEs. But, like, they're still good. Vegito and Gogeta. So, uh, like, I I expect UI and Evolution Blue Vegeta to be absolutely ridiculously nuts. Um, Alright, so there's that. Uh, then there's Standby. <coughs> uh, we could do when HP is 70% or less... Or after they have attacked three times in battle. So. <clears throat> ah, man, that, do that does make me look towards additional a little bit more, right? Like if they had 25 additional, you would, the, the amount of times you would open on their first turn with three attacks would be near guaranteed, right? Hmm. Yeah. Just attack three times. That is so easy. The HP is kind of... I mean, it could be super easy or it could not. I, I will say this about Beast and the Gammas. They made their, like, special stuff super easy to do. Yeah, I don't know. They, this may be... They are... Like, you, you do want to give this character a lot of additionals. Um, just in case your orbs are bad. Right, like, because as long as, so if you have, again, let's say 25 additional hidden potential system, if you get even one in orb or one STR AGL or one of any of those three, you're probably going to attack three times. Link set, Android Assault, Red Road Army, Shocking Speed, Hero Justice, Signature Pose, Fear Spot, a Legendary Power, okay. Uh, Beast does have Shocking Speed. Um, they are a support, though, so I, I do think that their links aren't maybe quite as important 
as maybe like just like a traditional like potentially hard like hard hitter. Uh, then we have all the categories again. Gamma two sacrifice puts him on like fifty categories. That's crazy. All right, so then we have standby mode. So remember that this character, the way this character works, right? It it's again it it's just like the legends one where you know you start as gamma one and two. Then you go into the standby mode. It's just basically Gamma 1 fighting and then Gamma 2 is charging. Um, and then after you do the standby, you're left with just kind of like a uh, just Gamma 1 by himself. Um, so, okay. Uh, let's get back to it. Again, there's just so much here. Okay. So, standby mode for Gamma 1 and 2. This is where Gamma 2 is charging up the Core Breaker. All right, so Gamma 1's 12 key is 30% attack and defense, colossal damage. 18 key, 50% attack and defense, meg colossal damage. And now super class allies, defense goes up by 50% for one turn. Um, I would really, I mean, it's 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 a very good ability. But like I, you guys know what I want to say, I'd really love for that to be two turns. Um, we're talking about anniversary LR, so like, oh my god, it'd be too busted. Uh, go look at Beast. It wouldn't be too busted. We, we could could have just given that to them. Um uh, let, let, let's keep going, though. Like, let's see how easily they could go in slot one in this mode, right? Um, okay, so then here's their finisher. Do or die, full energy release. We could do this when charge count is one or more. They get 100% attack per charge count. Does super ultimate damage. Guaranteed stuns. Could that ever be relevant? Maybe. I, I mean, I, in the past, I would have just said, like, this is stupid. There's no point. But, like, they have been doing a bunch of really different fights lately. So, maybe they would set that up to have a purpose. Perhaps. Perhaps. Um, and then exchanges with Gamma 1. So, and then the, the charge... Wait, does, does it say... Goresh said on the stream that they charge by attacking. I don't... Or, like, by allies attacking. I don't know if it's written anywhere here. L l okay, l let's just go to their passive. Um... So, 6 key, 250% attack and events, and 50% damage reduction. Phew! That's, I mean, that, that gets a few right there. Uh, then they get 50% attack and events when attacking. Multiplicative buff is good. Superhero join forces and defender adjusts category ally 3 key, 50% of stats. Still have that. 30% chance to crit. Guaranteed additional super up to twice per int keys you obtain. Same thing. And then 12% chance to crit. Additional to 70% chance to super up to twice per turn. Per AGL or STR key sphere. So you just get 50 per I mean, I guess they do have 30% damage reduction after they attack three times, which isn't really that tough. But then you just it, it jumps up to just 50%. Yeah. And then that fifth th this buff is now when attacking instead of just right there. I mean, that's still a multiplicative buff though, right? Uh okay. Yeah, it, it's not... I don't see it written... I don't see that Gresh wrote it anywhere. But again, he did mention that their charge count is characters attacking, right? Like, that's... Like, it's it's like Sword of Hope Trunks. So, just characters attacking is going to charge it up. Okay, okay. Um, so, then, after you do the standby... Um, I, I think Gresh also said, like, he... For the Gamma's post standby form, I only included what was different. Okay. So, uh, Gamma gamma 1's 12 key it should still just be the same thing. 30% right there, Colossal Damage. So, his 18 key now is 50% attack and events, Meg Colossal Damage, and Super Class Allies Defense by 50% for two turns. <laughs> now he gets the two turns. Okay. There's the two turns right there. Uh, that's, I mean, that's, whew, I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, so that there's so now that he could do that, I mean there is even value in like just throwing out the core breaker as fast as possible. But like, d dude, at the superhero team, like, what did they do? You have Orange Piccolo, Carnival Blue Gogeta's target all, and both Beast Gohan's target all. You have four active skills that removes the boss's ability to kill you. You have four. <laughs> and then you also have, like, the Gamma's charging up this shit while supporting and stuff. It's just nuts. It's nuts. Uh, okay, so then, so this is now, again, post-standby Gamma 1. 
He gets three key, 150% attack and events, 15% damage reduction. Okay. Three key, 150% attack and defense, and then 15% damage reduction if HP is 30% or higher. 50% attack and defense when attacking. He gives superhero joint forces, defender of justice, category ally, three key, 50% of stats. He gets a guaranteed additional super. Changes AGL key spheres to int key spheres. 20% chance to crit, and 10% damage reduction up to 50% per int or STR key sphere obtained. Wow, yeah, interesting. So, Gamma 1, like, once... Okay, so turn 1, the character's not the craziest defensively before they attack, right? You get your attacks off, and then you get the 30% damage reduction. You know, you do the 3 attacks, and you're going to be able to do the standby next turn. You go into the second turn, right, into their standby... And then you have, you know, even higher damage reduction. You're going to be looking a little bit better. You're going to be charging Gamma 2 up. You drop Gamma 2. And then if you have in orbs, at Gamma 1 is going to be nigh untouchable. I mean, Gamma 1 can get up to 80% damage reduction. With five, five in key spheres and Gamma 1 has 80% damage reduction. Man. I just like the superhero team. Like I, 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 I mean, they're gonna make the part three bosses really crazy. But like, I guess I mean, Amatsu's just sitting there, like, yeah. I mean, if you got the full superhero team, you're obviously gonna guaranteed win. But holy shit, okay. Uh, how good are the gammas? I I gotta see. I I gotta get a lot of use. Like Gohan, it's just like, oh yeah, he's number one, obviously, right? Like Gogeta and Broly, like it was it's pretty clear that they were high up there. I I want to use the gammas. Um, I think that they're very good. I mean, one thing too is seeing how much damage Gamma 2's assault does. It doesn't, like, he doesn't have like a guaranteed crit on it, huh? So you could put crit on this character for Gamma 2's attack specifically. You're probably not going to need too much crit normally because they just have so much crit. Um, but you, you could, you could do some, I mean, I would probably recommend additional for this character first, because you just want to make sure you're able to swap into the standby right away on their second turn. And, you know, you'll be able to guarantee, pretty much guarantee that with high additional on them. Okay. Uh, I, I again, it's very difficult. I, we've had a complete shakeup of the best characters in the game. And Dokkan keeps dropping easy A's that are, like, top 5 level. Like, this character is, like, a top 5 unit in the game. Like, <laughs> right? Like, so is Gogeta, right? Like, it's... So is Broly. At, at, like, it, it, it's it's really crazy. Um, I, I I don't know. I mean, g the Gammas... I, like, I could see, the, the, like, vaguely top 10. Like, they're a very nice asset to some of these teams. Um, I mean, certainly you think about them being on like you know like dude like entrusted will or uh, struggle <gasps> entrusted will oh my god that fusion zamasu mission that's really tough done with the gammas oh yeah they always do that man right like if you're a free-to-play player and like a mission is too hard or something like that like don't there's gonna be crazy help always coming they oh they always they always do that all right, so the Gammas, again, I, like, I'm saying, like, just, like, top 10 right now, but, like, I I just want to get more experience with this. I want to see if, if, if these orbs is a major issue. The thing about it, though, again, this harps back to LR Ultimate Gohan, one of his major flaws, right? I've talked about this repeatedly. A lot of people just like to close their ears and not listen. Gohan has to super attack, which is a fatal flaw for him, Right? The most important thing for the Gammas, it's they don't need the super. So even AGL and, and STR orbs are okay if you get the normal because you just need to do three attacks to get the damage reduction and do three attacks to get this. So if they give you additional normals, it's not the end of the world, right? Whereas like Ultimate Gohan gives you additional normals and you're, lo you're losing because of it because he his buildup is from specifically super attacks and not from attacking. I love that they've cleaned that up, right? Like, the Tech, Vegeta, and Nappa have the same thing. Gammas, you just need to attack. 
Does it like even if it's a, an additional normal? Oh no, additional normal. It it you're getting the value from it because you just need to do the attack. So that's good. That helps the gammas a lot, right? It, you know, it, you don't have to have in orbs. Just AG on SCR will get the job done. So that is good. All right, let's take a look at Krillin and Android 18. Is this is it police officer Krillin? It just says Krillin in 18. Let me see. Yeah, it's just Krillin. Oh, that, that's so stupid. I mean, <coughs> damn, they really, they couldn't have just added it. So if you guys are not aware, let me just pull this up real fast. We'll go to Krillin. So this is not a new named character, by the way, because we have the turn of power uh, Krillin in Android 18. Uh, there is police officer Krillin, who is a you know unobtainable unit. He has been un unobtainable for a thousand years, a thousand moons, right? Krillin, police officer. Um, but we do have Krillin and Android 18, so they're going to be right here along with these characters, right? So it's not a new named character. Okay. Um, all right, let, let's see what Krillin and Android 18 are doing. Uh, join forces, battle wits, movie hero, battle of fate, bond of parent and child, and superhero categories right there, okay? Uh, so there are join forces or battle wits, category key 3, 130% of stats. Super attack gets 50% attack and defense, supreme damage, lowers enemy attack. Many very difficult fights attack debuffing helps trunks vegeto blue um blue cow can goku like there, there's a bunch of of really tough fights where attack debuffing helps right so that's good um they get two key 180 percent attack units at the start of turn okay 30 percent chance to dodge eh. let's hopefully there's more there uh chance to crit and chance to dodge plus 30 percent and superhero category allies plus one key when there's another superhero category ally in the same turn. So they have 60% dodge and 30% crit. Okay. Plus an additional 30% attack and events with each attack evaded up to 90%. Plus an additional 180% attack and events before receiving an attack. Okay. I see. So that's that's to like make them strong defensively. Like 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 to give give them stats but keep them out of slot 1. Dokkan does seem to sometimes be scared of just dishing out. If you notice, Dokkan is pretty scared of just dishing out like 70% dodge on characters, right? Like people have like their thoughts on dodge or like, you know, a UI Goku failing or something like that, right? But um Dokkan a lot of times is hesitant to just throw out 70% dodge. On a lot of characters just for free. Look at um, uh, TUR Dragon Fist. Doesn't have it for free. Right? He has to be in slot 2 or 3 for 70% dodge. Um, uh, and then them giving giving them this is basically just keeping them out of slot 1. But that's fine. They're a banner unit. Right? Like, like this would suck on like LRB Skohan. Right? 180% attack even before receiving an attack. By the way, if you dodge, that would keep... Like, you, you would still have this, right? Superhero category ally 50% attack and events for two turns. If HP is 50% or more at the start of the turn. 50% for two turns. But it's heavily conditional. If HP is 50% or more at the start of the turn. If you're running the superhero team, how are you taking damage? Who Who's getting hurt? Hmm... So I don't know that I see that condition being a problem. Because, again, who is taking damage? I saw some people on the timeline talking about Gohan and Piccolo running them on the team. I mean, I think that's just horse cock, right? Like, Gohan and Piccolo suck in base. Like, we're just introducing a weak character onto the team. Like, it's stupid. Um, you're, you would be running, like, Beast, the Gammas, Orange Piccolo, Gogeta, maybe LR Ultimate Gohan. Maybe Blue Cow can Evolution Blue. You, you know, you could run UI. The, the two 5th Anniversary Fusions. Remember that there's now like 15 difficult fights. So it's like, you know, you're going to be mixing and matching characters based off of, you know, what's good for each fight. Keep that in mind, right? I feel like a lot of people, like when we were talking about the Broly stuff yesterday, you know, people are acting like you just run one lineup into every single fight. You could do that, but you're just bringing characters into like disadvantage fights, stuff like that. 
if Dokkan, I mean, I guess not everyone has every unit and blah, blah, blah. Sure, we, it, like those are separate topics entirely. But you'll be able to mix and match incredibly powerful characters. The point I'm getting at, though, is I don't really see how you're going to easily take damage on the superhero team. Because this unit loses a lot of value if you're below 50% HP. Which is common in these tough fights. Like, you know, you take a lot of damage and you're below 50% HP. But, like, on the superhero team, who is getting hurt? Because, like, LR Beast is literally going to be drawing all attacks to himself. Guard with a billion percent damage reduction. So, again, I, I don't really see how you're even losing HP unless you're forcing a shitty character on the team. Like base Gohan and Piccolo or something. Hmm. This seems to be... Pr they seem to be pretty good. They get the extra stats with dodges. So they have 60% dodge. I... There there are certain characters where, you know, dodge has, has failed me. Harutagarn is one. Int Pan is one. AGL uh, Gogeta is one of characters whose dodges just uh, typically fail for me. Um, so we'll see. Again, Pan had 60% dodge, just like this Krillin and Android 18. I There is a difference between 60% dodge, 70% dodge. I do wish that they would have just given Krillin an 18 70% dodge, right? Like, you could still keep it conditional out of slot one or something like that, which, again, Dokkan does seem to fear sometimes. Um, characters just having unconditional 70% dodge to go in slot one. But this character seems really good. This, like, th this is at least a good design for a ban unit, right? Like, this unit, I, I, I would prefer Golden Frieza for sure over this character. But this character is, like, when you're on, this character is adding so much to the team, right? Like, uh, imagine the Gammas are given 50%. And then this character is giving 50%. And then Beast Gohan is doing a 40 million guaranteed crit. And uh, yeah, and then Gogeta is doing 50 attack. Like, yeah. Superhero uh, just is doing laps around every other team in the game so much. It's insane. It's nuts. How many Gokus are on Superhero? We have him, them. We have you. We have you and you. Because I'm thinking about when we could potentially slide them on there, but I don't know if I would. I'm because th I'm talking about like their multiple turn support too. Keep in mind that like Gamma One will have a resurgence. By the way, Gamma One will be very. He actually should be very effective as like a slot one character, getting the huge support from the Gammas plus all of his links up. Remember that the Gammas. Uh, you know, when, like, you know, they're like, you know, MVP 17 or something like that. When you have all those Android links up for them, they're going to be significantly better. Yeah, I, the more I think about this Krillin and go, uh, Krillin and Android 18, the more I do like them. Because, I, I, you know, I don't like this HP condition right here. But on the superhero team, I just don't know how often that's ever going to happen. When is that going to happen? When are you going to be below 50% HP? This shit's just not happening, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, incredible. Ninth anniversary is... Yeah, yeah, they yeah they saved the game for sure. Um, all right, let me know what you guys think. Again, the Gammas are very good. Um, I I need to... I need a lot of... Ex I need to do like the long, you know, one and a half hour long showcase for them first before I'm making my thoughts on them, I think. I, I just want to get a... Like, like, see them in action. Remember that there's a lot of movement. Uh, th things are crazy right now superhero is just yeah crazy massive buffs this character is probably a must run just having their support around is crazy uh oh their links experience fighters courage cool judgment brainiac solid support turtle school fierce battle okay all right well there we go uh let me know what you guys think of the gammas let me know what you guys think of lrb skohan and all the stuff but uh yeah we got some major power coming into dokkan here